Hi everyone, in this session I will be presenting you how we can render flow based playbooks as process based playbooks in SAR workspace. Today in case of flow based playbooks, the response tasks generated by the flows are rendered as a related list under the security instant. Later analyst can finish these response tasks one by one and he can mark them as close completed. In case of process based playbooks, processes can be configured using the process automation designer wherein the process owner can configure the lanes and activities within a process. Later these activities can be accessed from the playbook experience tab of the security instant from the workspace. Flow based playbooks and process based playbooks are two different solutions that we have today. The playbook experience component that you see under the workspace it is not compatible with the flow based playbooks that we built from the flow designer. In order to truly migrate all the flow based playbooks as processes in the process automation designer it is going to take a lot of time because customers has uh, already implemented hundreds of such uh, flow designer based playbooks. In order to solve this problem we have come up with a solution wherein we are creating processes around these flows and these process will help reading the response tasks generated by the flows and render them within the security instant playbook experience tab of the workspace. So now let me show you how we can generate these wrapper process. So we have a page built for this called as wrapper process generator wherein you can select the SAR flows and generate wrapper process for them. Now let me select a flow security instant phishing manual and generate a wrapper process for this flow. Here it will ask uh, the lanes to be generated in the wrapper process for this flow. By default we are selecting all the lanes. Optionally you can also select the end lane. So this end lane will ensure all the response tasks of the flow are completed before the process can be ended. Now let's click on generate. So this will take some time to generate the wrapper process. Now the wrapper process is generated as you can see in the results. You can notice few things. After generating the wrapper process, the flow is prefixed with the underscore P. This is to indicate that there is a wrapper process already generated for this flow and the process is prefixed with underscore F. This is to differentiate the wrapper processes from the original processes that were built directly on the process automation designer. Now let's open a process and understand how it is configured. So this is a wrapper process that we just generated. As you can see it consists all the lanes that we selected during the generation process. Draft analysis contain eradicate recover review and uh, it uh, consists the activities like launch flow based playbook followed by steps in all the lanes and in the end lane there is the end playbook activity. So these are the utility activity definitions uh, and the launch flow based playbook it is responsible for invoking the flow based playbook that we have in the flow designer and the steps activity definition it is responsible for reading the response tasks generated by the flow based playbook and render them in the workspace playbook experience uh, tab and the end playbook activity it will ensure all the response tasks of the flow based playbook are completed before this process can be finished. And we can also check the trigger condition of this wrapper process which is actually copied from the flow based playbook. Since it is already copied to avoid the duplicate scenario of invoking the same playbook twice, we have nullified the trigger condition of the flow by setting the trigger condition to sysid equal to 0. Now let me show you that. Yeah, As you can see here, the trigger condition of the flow based playbook is now set to sysid equal to 0. 
Now let me show you the runtime experience of the wrapper process that we generated from the workspace. So before we do that, uh, let's activate the wrapper process. It is now activated. Now let's go to the workspace and from this security incident, let's invoke the wrapper process that we just generated by using the add playbook form action. Select the wrapper process and add the playbook. Now it started showing the playbook tab under which we can see the playbook uh, that has already started running. As you can notice, the steps activity that we have in the wrapper process, it has started reading the response tasks generated by the flow and rendering them as uh, tiles within the activity card. Now Enlist can interact with these response tasks just like how he is accessing related list of the security incident from the classic UI. He can open this response task in a modal dialog. It says acknowledge user submission and ask user if they have interacted with the email. And he finishes his job and marks this response task as closed complete. Now the flow resumes and it will create subsequent response tasks and they will be automatically pulled by this steps activity. Does the email have any threat indicators is our next response task. Let's assume there are no response tasks and analyst will say no and save. Now, now the flow will resume based on the response of the previous task and it will create the subsequent uh, response tasks. In this case, since we chose uh, no to the response task, does email have any threat indicators and there is no point of doing the further investigation. The process has skipped contain eradicate recover and it took the security incident directly to review. And in the review, we have a response task called notify user and update them on the conclusions of the investigation. And the analyst uh, finishes updating the summary and notifies the user. And he can mark this response task as close complete. Once all the response tasks are done in the last lane, since there are no response tasks pending, he can simply attempt to complete, which will finish the playbook. To summarize, we have started with the differences between flow based playbooks and the process based playbooks. And we have discussed about the problem that customer is facing since he has hundreds of flow based playbooks today in his environment, it is difficult to migrate the mass process based playbooks. And then we discussed about the solution with the help of wrapper process using which we can render the response task generated by the flows in the SAR workspace. And we have also shown how we can generate the wrapper process using the tool, uh, using the tool wrapper process generator. And finally, we have shown the runtime experience of the wrapper process generator, sorry, wrapper process that we, ge that we generated from the SAR workspace. Thank you team.